hello guys hello guys um you know welcome to another video it's been i think over eight days now the salafi video i've been posting over eight days uh, it was because of some personal matters but it's all sorted now i'm back so let's get started uh if you're new here don't forget to like and subscribe because on this channel i basically just give you some videos or some tips or some trading ideas on how to analyze a chart without even using indicators we just use pure price action so today we are going to look at our favorite, one of our favorites on this uh, channel, which is Nasdaq. And you know, we always start with the highest time frame. So let's just remove some of these drawings. These are all drawings. Uh, I know that even though I wasn't here, you know, for the past week or so, some of you, I know you did well. You did manage to catch some nice trades. I saw you sent me some pictures, right? So this is our, which is good, which is good. I'm happy to see people, you know, doing well, even when I'm not there. All right, so this is our chart. Uh, it's our NASDAQ. And if you still remember, with the monthly chart, we had said this is our nearest area of resistance. And monthly is bearish. And we have a bearish trend line somewhere there. You can just put it somewhere there and say we are bearish. Maybe the price will touch that trend line and continue to the downside. Because when you look left, this price here, we moved lower than it. So that's why you're saying it's broken. We've got higher chances of what? coming to this one but we're not saying it's a must for the price to go there we are saying as it things stand on this time frame we are most likely to carry on until we hit this area of support unless if the bulls do you know wonders and move outside this trend line or they move higher than the support and they will have reversed the bears momentum they will have broken their structure then we can lean towards their side but until they do something to this trend line they do something to this uh, resistance monthly will always remain uh, biased to the downside now let's check our weekly chart remember we need to check all the time frames before we can make our decisions so this is our weekly chart and on the weekly chart we have this as our nearest area of resistance and i don't know if it was touched the last time when the price came here let's just remove this uh let's see it starts somewhere in there somewhere in here yes yeah, so this support or i mean this resistance was touched here and the price rejected there and then it came back it did have some nice looking uh, sort of rejection candlesticks which were like okay we are now testing a bearish uh, zone which is the resistance we are having some rea uh, reaction or some rejection candlestick Maybe that would be a sign that the bears will still continue to the downside. But they failed to maintain uh, this, continue with this momentum and break the range and continue to the downside. Now the price is back again to the same area of resistance. You can see that the zone is no longer fresh. And the fact that we did this and we failed to continue, it's a sign that these bears, as much as we are at their zone, and... You know, we, we have a rejection candlestick, but the, the fact that we didn't continue with that rejection candlestick, it's a sign that we can still see the price going up like that. But we still need to keep in mind what we saw on monthly, where the price was suggesting that we are approaching a very strong area of resistance. And maybe that would be the best doing this before going to the downside. But we are still leaning towards the downside because of what we cannot trade against what we saw on monthly. So you will always lean towards the downside unless especially if you're planning trades that you're gonna hold for long term but if you're someone that's just gonna open trades now close tomorrow or after two days or so then it's fine you can trade to the upside you can trade to the downside but the moment you start saying i need to hold this trade i'm planning to hold this trade maybe until uh, the end of the month there you see you need to make sure that the bigger structure also agrees with what you're doing if not then you need to wait for a better trading opportunity so for now this will always remain our nearest resistance and the time frame this one is also bearish same with what we saw on monthly so that's what we're saying anywhere here the price can still reject unless if the the, the bulls are very uh, stubborn and they still move up like that when they do that and they break the the the, the what you call it the trend line then we will say oh they have reversed the structure then if they give us a pullback we will say we can now give them a chance and hope that they will push up uh towards you know they will push the upside for some time but until they do something to convince us buying for long term it's not something that i think it's wise for you to do so let's check what we got on daily so this is our daily chart daily is bullish 
and it being bullish let's just check if this is uh created a higher high yes we did make a higher high this now this is higher than it which means we can have our bullish let's remove this we can have our bullish channel line there and say this is our nearest area of support this is the time frame is bullish and this area of support is something that you can plan maybe to take trades but remember remember the structures you saw on monthly and on weekly they are saying long term to the downside so you saying your daily it's, it's, it's bullish the price is approaching a bullish zone which is a support and the very same support that pushed up and broke a short term bearish trend line that was here you see it's a good zone so when the price gets there and you decide to take trades i would suggest that you wait for confirmation because if the price when it's coming towards your zone it is feeling the heat from that monthly trend line man, uh, weekly zone then you'll be in trouble to trade against them you just have to wait for the price to show you that it wants to react there then you can say i'm taking a trade but it's just a smash and grab we are not planning anything uh to the upside which is long term it's just smash and grab so that's our nearest support and then in terms of the resistance i don't think this was taken out so we still have the same zone as our nearest resistance the nearest support and the bullish channel on this time frame and this time frame is bullish so we are saying this is your support this is your resistance if you want to sell you would say uh, when the price was here maybe you wanted to sell a very same zone when you're here you wanted to say you sell and then you're targeting that you cannot say because you know you are coming from a monthly and a weekly structures and then it's it's it's, it's confirmed that these guys are going to be broken no you don't know that it can still play here before breaking them so that's why you need to make sure that the next opposing structure means the next opposing structure when you are trading when the price gets to the next opposing structure don't overlook don't look past that you need to understand that the next opposing structure is hit and it can cause the price to reverse so for that reason i'm going to exit there and maybe if your account allows you had more than one trade and then you decide to leave one trade running and then you take the stop loss put it you know below break even then it means that should the price continue and break those the next opposing structures you still have one trade running but if you only have one trade then it means when the price hits those next opposing structures you are out so that's why when your account is slightly bigger and it allows you to open multiple trades it will give you that freedom to say that i can always have one trade that is running and then regardless of what happens i'll still keep it there it doesn't have to take profit i just want to see how far it can go for as long as you know how to manage it the price moves in your direction you bring the stop loss up or you bring it down depending on whether you're holding a buy trade or a sell trade so for now this price can go to at least somewhere there and if you are planning to say you'll take a trade there you need to be careful wait for confirmation then maybe the price will go until there or you can still go straight like that or it can also go up like that remember what we saw on on, on weekly when we had that a bearish rejection but the price failed to continue still somewhere there so that's why there's a lot of factors that can push the price up and also those that can push the price to the downside so you need to make sure that you weigh your options when you are executing so this one it can go somewhere there we'll just see how the market opens but i'm not happy with how the friday can stay closed because this could suggest that should the price carry on with the momentum they will do something like that but we will all see we'll just have to wait until the, the the thing opens and then we will take it from there now let's check our h4 our h4 looks something like this and we can still let's see someone can say this looks like a swing this it looks like the swing. they think that's a swing uh you it means now you will have your structure here and say that's where you had your bullish turn line and you had this as your support which is taken out both of them taken out by a movement from this uh, guy here so it means now you are putting your eyes here to say the price has touched that and that's the one that pushed the price to the downside and took those key structures so you'll be saying you know a sell from that it's not bad and then you'll be targeting the same support which is the one that we, we're talking about on daily saying that the price got higher chances of what going until there it's not bad so you get some confirmation there already though the price is reacting so that's a very good zone for you to say i can execute 
and push the price to the downside so as things stand we do have a very big chance to go to the downside unless if the price breaks this and then go above that is why i'm saying any confirmation that you can get from this area of resistance you are more than welcome to pull the trigger to the downside on this time frame if you're someone that's trading h4 you really don't have anything that can say to you you can buy like there's nothing let's check our h1 so on h1 the structure looks the same as what we saw on what on h4 we still have this area here which is the one that the price is touching and if you look at the last candlestick that we got here it's giving you what you call it's giving you the 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 the, the bearish engulfing vibes so based on that you can still get the price doing this but this might also struggle to pass there so maybe if it does that and then you want to enter more confirmation you can do that or you could just say anywhere from there i get a pin bar or whatever that you use as your confirmation you will be selling but when you say the next opposing structure this has to be your tp1 and then you can use somewhere there tp2 but then your maximum tp will be this one here which is also a h4 zone remember which is also the h4 support and also on daily i think we got something there which is also a daily support that we spoke about so as things stand uh we have got higher chances of pushing to the downside more than pushing up so i'll say lean towards the bears if you get a confirmation to sell you can execute if you don't have a confirmation if you don't get confirmation you don't have a trade you don't execute you just sit there watching waiting for the right moment before you can pull the trigger all right so that's all that you can expect from from this one which is nasdaq should the structure change maybe on monday or tuesday i'll just make another video and, and update you guys so please do not forget to like and subscribe just hit that subscribe button or that uh you know uh, that that like button so that this video can be pushed to other people who need this information i'm gonna be uh, team stingy with the free information just share it with other people all right guys i'll see you in the next video thank you